Hey guys, so Joyful Reborns here. Uh, I'm back with Aang. Oh, look at him, he looks so cute. I'm taking like a ton of pictures of him. Um, I really need to stop wearing these PJs. You guys keep seeing them in some videos. Um, but I have Aang here. He looks so cute. And he's here so I can do the um, Crafts for Reborns. Uh, alternative Reborn Q&A tag. Uh, I know it's really old, um, from like two months ago, <laughs> but I just, I was going to make a video with him, so I really wanted to do this video when it came, I mean this tag when it came out, but I didn't really have any time, so I'm just going to do it now while I change him. He's wearing this really cute, uh, it says adorable, he has this little, this little Momo, um, his Momo is usually, um, uh, it's got like this little band, and it's usually around his wrist, but um, I just took it off so I could get it easier. But he was got his little, his little Momo. Um, been planning on getting him an Abba since I got him back in, well, I don't even remember, 2013 maybe I got him? Yeah, the end of 2013, like November. Um, been planning to get him uh, an Abba since then, but um, haven't gotten around to it. When I get this job, definitely gonna get him one. Um, I think it would be so cute. Um, but he's just wearing this little, um, he looks so cute. I'm sorry. <laughs> he's wearing this little uh, elephant uh, sleeper, which is kind of big on him because he is smaller newborn. Um, I just buy him newborn size clothing and for the most part, it fits him. Uh, but he's definitely a smaller newborn. I've never tried any preemie clothes on him. I don't know if I would try preemie clothing just because it's so hard to find. I feel like the light is really washing him out, but um, he is amazingly done. Um, another, um, well, actually, let me make sure it's not in one of the questions because um, I just want to say something about alternate reborns. Okay. Um, I really love these babies. Um, alternate reborns. I'm. I really want an alien one, and then after that, it's just kind of uh, you know what I see. Maybe I'll buy. But um, anyway, I just got this little pooh bear hat, just cause it's yellow. <laughs> um, sorry, I have hiccups. Uh, to match his sleeper. Uh, never tried. Going back to what I said. <laughs> never tried premium clothes on him, just because it's really hard to find, and there's not a lot of variety when you do find some premium clothes. So, I just don't even bother. I just get him newborn, um, for the most part, if it's him. And even if it's loose, I kind of like that on him. He's so cute, he's so cuddly. Anyway, so, let's get started on changing him. I feel like he looks, like, so stiff. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, um, so let's get started with the tag. Let me get the questions. Oh, let me show you what I'm going to change him into. This is, um, a tag, but, um... I believe it will also be a theme Thursday. I won't put it in the title <laughs> if this isn't the right theme. I'm pretty sure I watch all the theme Thursday videos. And I always want to do one, but I can never get them in on time. I'm pretty sure this week is nautical. Um, don't really have a lot of nautical stuff, but um, I have this little fish onesie I'm going to put on under him. And then this little pirate octopus. This little striped shirt and little fish. And then just some blue shorts that match the octopus. So I'm going to put that on him. If this isn't the theme Thursday, I'm going to go back and check after I make this video. If this isn't theme Thursday, I won't put that in the title. But if it is theme Thursday slash alternate reborn tag. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. Oh, he looks so cute. I'm sorry, I'm obsessing over him. I pick him out a lot, which I should because um, he's one of my... Not one of I only have three reborns right now, but um, he's definitely a forever baby. I would never ever sell him in a million years. He is beyond perfect and everything that I would have wanted, um, could have asked for. And he was my first reborn, by the way. I had a fancy reborn, but um, let me get to the questions and then maybe that's in there and I'll talk about it. Okay. So the first question is, how did you get into alternative reborns? Okay, so um, maybe I should do a whole video on how I got into reborns to begin with, but um, alternative reborns. I saw a picture of him 
on Pinterest and I fell in love with him, so I got him. Uh, the, he's a Avatar baby, uh, Aang from uh, Avatar The Last Airbender. I'm so sorry about my birds. They have absolutely no manners. Um, sorry. Um, I forgot where it was. Uh, saw him on Pinterest. I'm not really gonna get into the whole story because it kind of goes into the story of how I got into Reborns, which I kind of want to do in a separate video. Um, but basically, I saw him on Pinterest. I loved him. I got him. Um, he was a gift from my ex-boyfriend but um here he is that's how i got into alternative reborns he is the uh pumpkin sculpt by don rupert and he's just my little baby all happy like ang in the tv show um not a fan of the movie i hated the movie the movie was nothing like um like the TV show, which is what I was so excited for, you know, live action, but, um, it was a huge disappointment, in my opinion. Um, but he has all of, you know, the, he has a details video up if you want to go see, but, um, look at him, he's so sweet. Um, he has from the movie and the TV show, so in the TV show, he only has the blue arrows running throughout his body. And then in the movie, they did like these intricate designs throughout um, to uh, make up the arrow. So his artist, which I love, <coughs> I'm sorry, um, did both the design and the blue arrow. And she actually used glow in the dark paint for his arrow. So uh, if you ever watched the TV show or if you've seen the movie, uh, his arrows do light up when he goes into the avatar state. And that is by far one of my favorite um, TV shows. I kind of have an old soul, but when it comes to TV shows, so I either like really old, um, older generation TV shows, or I like cartoons. So I'm kind of on both ends of the spectrum. Usually I don't enjoy what I, what an average teenager, 20 year old should be enjoying watching TV? I don't know. Um, usually, probably with like one exception, which is like I'm super obsessed with, but for the most part, watching cartoons or stuff from like two generations ago, three, sometimes four, watch really old stuff. Um, but anyway, one of my all time favorite shows, because I do like cartoons, um, love, love that show. I own so many, own all the video games. All of the DVDs. I now have my own baby. He's so cute. And he's going to be great for, um, I'm rambling so much. He's going to be great for, uh, like, a uh, Comic Con kind of thing, which I'm planning on taking to them to at some point. Uh, I think I know it's over. Okay, there we go. Okay, so back to the questions. That's how I got into it. Fan of the Avatar stuff. I was looking up Avatar stuff on Pinterest. Um, and I found him, loved him, got him. So, if you collect alternative reborns, do you have both, and why do you have both? Um, I started off with him, and I kind of was only in it for the alternative reborns to begin with. I was never really into, I mean, I love dolls, and I've always been into dolls, but... It wasn't that I didn't see the pure wasn't into them, into regular reborn dolls, but I don't know. Maybe I just never really seen them before until I got him, and I just didn't think that I would like them. And when I got him, like I just instantly fell in love. That was horrible. But um, instantly fell in love and. Right before I got him, you know, I, I was finding all these uh, Instagram accounts, so I was, like, very into the whole Instagram freeborn thing. Um, 
And so we went on a limb and I just started getting the regular ones. I don't know, there was something about the regular ones I liked too because I'd always loved dolls, but I started off with the alternate ones and then I'm really picky about the regular ones still, more so than the alternative Reborns, but um, I still like them both. Um, I don't really know how to answer the question. <laughs> but um, I have the alternative ones. Well, this is my only one that I have, but I want more. Because I think they're just so fun and it's so cool how, um, you know, especially the cartoon ones, how they turn the cartoon, even the live action ones. <laughs> I just love how he looks so real. Um, Especially since I was so excited for the live action avatar and that was a, I didn't enjoy it so I think he's so cute. He looks so cute right now. Um, I hope I answered that question. I don't really know how. Um, why do I have both? Because I like them both. Um, why do you like alternative reborns over traditional or do you like alternate or do you like alternative reborns over traditional? If so, why? Um, I mean, I enjoy them both. I don't think I prefer one over the other. I mean, whenever I see anybody with an alternative reborn, um, I'm like instantly obsessed because I don't see a lot of them. So when I do see one, I like instantly I need to go through your entire Instagram page, um, all your pictures, all your videos. Like, I'm just, I don't see it a lot. So, um, I do love the alternative reborn stuff, like I, I watch it all, but I do like the traditional one. I watch so much of the traditional stuff, but m more so because there's less than the alternative stuff, but I, I like them equally and I enjoy watching videos and Instagrams that have them both. So I don't really, I don't really have a preference, I like both of them. Okay, so, <coughs> I'm so sorry. Um, Question number four is, do you take your alternative reborns out? Um, not so much anymore, but since he was my first uh, baby for a long time, um, I did take him out a couple times, but I didn't have a car seat for him or anything. I did give him a car seat towards the end of him being an only child. Um, it was a girl car seat, though, but um, it's the same one I still have. Um, I did take him out like holding him and it wasn't that bad. I feel like people are a little bit more accepting of the alternative reborns than they are of um, the traditional reborns just because they see it as, especially if you have like the um, vampires and the werewolves and those kind of things because not a lot of people really know who he is. But I feel like it's more like, oh, they see it as, they see it more like an art thing than they do when it's a traditional reborn. They see it more as art, like, oh, fan art or something like that. Um, so people are a lot um, less judgmental when it's an alternate. I mean, they're like, why are you going to Walmart with your doll thing? But um, a couple times that I have taken them out, I've gone with um, a child. <laughs> so... Um, it's not that bad. When you have children or children are with you, not that I have any children, but when you go out with children and you take your dolls, it's a lot, they don't look at you so crazy if, you know, they do think that way because the kid is with you, so they're like, oh, it's because you're bonding with the kid, you know, it's a kid's toy kind of thing. Um... But those are the couple times that I have taken him out. Um, somebody thought he was a real baby, which I thought was crazy because, I mean, I had his stuff all covered up, but he didn't have, I mean, I don't know why they thought he was a real baby. But, um, uh, yeah, and then somebody thought he was a real baby, and then somebody else instantly knew that he wasn't real, but she thought he was like a baby to get over kind of thing. Um, which I have no idea how they thought that either since she did see a, he didn't have a hat on or anything and she saw all of this and I guess she thought that was normal. I don't know. Uh, she only looked at it for like a 20 seconds, but 
still. So, um, hope I answered that question. Um, what is your favorite alternative reborn nursery and what are some, some of your favorite alternative reborn channels? Um, I don't really have any favorites. I don't really know a lot of them. Um, pretty much anybody who has one, they're my favorite because I don't see them a lot. So whenever I get the opportunity and I find one, um, you know, I'll, I'll watch whatever they put out there, but I don't really see a lot of videos. And when they do have them out, it's usually just them sitting there. What I want to see more of is like role play with them. I think that would be pretty cool. I mean, I know a couple people do um, have the some role play videos. I know there are some, but pretty much just anybody who has Alternative Reborn, they're my favorite, and I watch them. There's so many that I wouldn't even be able to list. Um, and I wasn't prepared, so I don't even have a list. Uh, let's see. Uh, and the last question. <coughs> Sorry. Do you have a favorite fantasy character you'd love if it were made into a final kit? Um, pretty much every fantasy uh, thing that I'm into, if it was made into a final kit, I would love. I'd love a fairy. I'd love a mermaid. Um, I'm kind of really picky, but, I mean, I would love them all, but it's not realistic, I guess, fantasy ones, um, I'd really, I'm not even dressing him, oh my goodness, I'm so distracted, I'm so sorry, <laughs> um, let me see, I, I saw a Harry Potter one, I'm pretty sure the, um, woman who made uh, Cracks for Reborns. I'm pretty sure she's the one with a Harry Potter baby. I would love one of those. Um, and a couple more. I was going to try to be a Reborn artist and actually when I was going to uh, attempt to be one, <laughs> I have a sketchbook and everything. I kind of don't want to say what my ideas were, <laughs> but I, I would draw out, you know, I would pick a kit and then draw out the kit and do all the details and stuff of, you know, how it would make them look, what kind of characters and stuff. Um, but pretty much any fantasy character I love, but, uh, um, I, I love so many of them. Um, his artist, uh, Zeta from, uh, Cosmic Encounters Nursery, I love all the ones that she does. Um, uh, Twisted Beanstalk, uh, can I think of any other ones? I do not know. I don't know any, really any artists who do them. Uh, the Rotten Apple, I believe. But I like, I think I like more the, um, I'm sorry to say um so much. The babies that are based off of characters. I think that's what I enjoy more. I mean, I still love all the other ones, like, and I still want them. <laughs> um, Realistically, I don't have enough space, so I'd probably only get uh, character babies, but I would love some more character babies. Um, but that's more of what I'm into. So just any, really any characters from my favorite TV shows or books and stuff, that would be really great. I would love to see so many more of those, and I would love to own them, because I just don't want to see them. I want them too. Um... Yeah. So there's Aang with Momo. Let me see if I can get him to sit up. I think he's so cute when he sits up and he looks up at the camera. I know it's not very realistic, but anyway. That was our tag and I hope it wasn't too long. I know I rambled a lot. Obviously I was not prepared enough for this, but um here's Aang.